This is Twit. So Android Pi is 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 the thing that it is now. Pixel devices can install right away. Uh, I've got it on my Pixel 2 XL. Yeah, I got it this morning. You got it this morning. Phil, have you had a chance to update to it? Yeah. I mean, I've been using beta since beta, and, and the final version came out yesterday and looks and acts exactly the same. So, <laughs> so you so you got the push yesterday. I didn't get it until like this yeah. this morning at like 11. Same with me. I was like, what's going on? Yeah, and, and digital well-being is now a thing in beta yep. As, yep. A, as like an app add-on. So I played with that a little bit last night and hate it. Can't. Ah, oh, no. Can't. It's the middle of the night. Let me use my phone the way God intended. <laughs> well, then you can keep it deactivated. And yes. the people that really want it can put it on. Uh, yes, I mean, that is one of the one of the big kind of, uh, well, it's not really a surprise because we knew about it. But that's a, that's a new feature that those of us that have been on the betas for months uh, haven't already had access to. Right. You know, everything else is like, oh, yeah, but we've been seeing this for months <laughs> now. Uh, digital well-being was something that they announced at Google I.O. They said it was going to, you know, it wasn't going to hit in the beta initially. Now it's now it's kind of out there. Actually, I can show it real quick. Let me make sure I don't have any <laughs> okay notifications. I got one for my daughter, which is full of emoji. But anyways, okay. <laughs> so let's see here. Digital well-being. I'll do a search for it. Can't remember where it appears. Uh, you can go ahead and show now, Josh. Uh, so we'll go settings. Let's see here. Settings, digital well-being. And here it is. I only just activated it like an hour ago. And actually, I signed up for the beta, but I didn't get the, re the reply yet. So I had to go to APK Mirror. I'm going to try and, this. And it was, it was just, you know, on APK Mirror, so you can install it. You can only install this if you are running a Pixel right now, Pixel device. And that Pixel device is on the most recent, the official version of Android Pi. And of course, this is the app that will do things like wind down mode where it turns your screen grayscale and it has kind of a active controls over the do not disturb function on your phone and what it blocks, you know, from you when that time uh, time is hit. I guess for me, it starts at 11 and ends at 7 a.m. I'll have to mess with that a little bit. Uh, then it also has the dashboard. If you want to set app timers on any particular apps, you can go in there and say, hey, Twitter, I only want... Uh, an hour on Twitter a day. And even for me these days, that feels like a lot. But um, but you can go in there and you can set that. And then it will actively prevent you from using that app. Although you can always just go in there and undo it, right? You can always just not use the app like a grown-up. I, I, I <laughs> That's I, true, too. What I always think about the digital well-being is that is really useful is to actually give you quantifiable data about how much you use apps. Sure. And because, you know, sometimes like, I know with my spouse and I, we like, like point at each other and say like, you've been using Facebook too much or you've been using Twitter too much or whatever. And like now you can actually like go, this is how much you've been using Twitter. Like, yeah. you know, and I think that's healthy because you can kind of like be, make a conscious effort maybe if you're trying to scale down to scale down, if you want to. But I think it's a little hypocritical, these kind of features because- it's like the cigarette manufacturers telling you about how dangerous tobacco is. It's yeah. like, uh, yeah, you made I, it yourself. I don't know. Like, You're uh, the reason I'm here. <laughs> like, if it wasn't for the work that you've done. I don't know. Yeah, it's true. Although I really do like this ring. Like, that's actually really cool. It's cool to visualize. Like, I did, you know, a decent amount of, uh, of driving today. So Android Auto is a nice chunk of that. Uh, headspace in the morning. I do that for like 10 minutes every morning. So that's that occupies. And then, uh, like, comparing something like, all right, Headspace compared to Twitter. I'm really happy that Twitter is smaller than Headspace, to be honest. Uh, but it's kind of neat to visualize it. You get, a, you get a true sense of, like, where your time is being spent uh, in a different way. But there were all always third-party apps that would that could do this right this is just google's official version of that so how do you enable app. it because i don't have it in the settings if i search for it is it well a because app? it's a separate it's a separate app ah. uh, although it's not an app that you get through the play store is that right phil I'm yeah just... no no it, it's in beta so it loads just like any other beta app got it and and you goes through in. the play store for that to, yeah Yep. And then okay. once you do that, it doesn't show up as an app on your phone. It just shoves it into the settings where it belongs. Right. So uh, you won't sense. find it in the app tray, but if you go to your settings, okay. then you do a search. After, right. you, after you've after you kind of put yep. that APK on, then you'll have access to it. And they call it out I mean, here, the top beta. My question is, is it going to change your behavior? Because if it doesn't change your behavior, it, yeah, I mean, it's fun data, yeah. But I kind of look at it like like I track my walk in the morning, if I track my exercise. So, you know, if I forget to, it doesn't change the fact that I still went to the gym, that I still exercised. Yeah. I just don't have that data. So unless it actively changes your behavior, 
I kind of don't care. Only right. you can change your behavior. It's like you sure, have exactly. to. Be, you know, the first step of addiction is to admit you have it, right? Like, I mean, <laughs> come on. That's true. That's true. Or, or my wife and my kids, or you know, a mean commenter on Twitter. Yeah. Or no, it's it, it's up to me. It's up to me. Absolutely. Um, and and really, if you don't, if you haven't already made that decision for yourself, even if you're using this, it's it's not like it prevents you from turning it off. Like you can very easily go back into these settings and go, you know, that ti app timer that I set on Twitter, I've decided I don't want that anymore, and turn it off. And it does. It's not like it's going to penalize you and turn your phone off. But, but do, <laughs> if you have parental controls enabled, does it actually enforce these things? Oh, so that's a good question. That's a good question. If this phone was was like a, a par parentally enforced or, yeah. or covered device, uh, how would that tie into this? That's a good question. You know, and you're like on Facebook, and then all of a sudden you're like ten, nine, eight. So you know, big letters appear on top of the screen. <laughs> About to <laughs> close. Hit send now. Uh, yeah, and uh, Bleak and Chad is saying the installer says it needs Android 9, which is true. So at, the, at yeah. a minimum, you need the official version of Android Pie and a Pixel in order to even run this right now. And I, this might just be, once once it's out of beta, is it an officially just a Pixel app or is it meant for everyone on Android 9? I don't know. And knowing Google, even if it was isolated to just Pixels, they'd have opened it up eventually. It seems to be what they do over time it's their thing yeah it's their thing i thought it looked like visually it looks very samsung-y well i mean it's interesting that you say that because we have a voicemail kind of along that topic as well which we will get to but yeah i mean you know a big part of, of android pi is this kind of visual uh refresh to things if i go into you know the settings and everything things are a lot bublier it and pies around a mostly more colorful okay. and, and loose ways what's that pies around mostly are so they? everything well, is circles. Okay. Yeah, I guess I was thinking of slices. You're right. A whole pie is round. That's true. Generally. I mean, In you general. can make a square pie, but... <laughs> you could, but that would be weird. Thank you. Um, so what are some of the... Fe oh, oh, hey, this is interesting. Essential is the first non-Google uh, phone, I think in Android history, to get the newest version of... A, an, a major Android release, Android Pie, on day one. They had an update going to their phone yesterday. That's because Andy made Android. Yeah, well, no doubt. He probably no created Pie for them. I doubt he, I doubt he created it. Just kidding. Him. Well, and they but. also have fewer phones than anybody else. Yeah. So I, I keep seeing all these people, oh, it's incredible this little company did it. Well, yeah, they have fewer phones than anybody yeah, else. Like, sure. They have to manage 10 billion devices it's and like worry about have, breaking them. Absolutely. They have 10 people out there with phones, yeah. <laughs> well, they only have one model to craft. I'm and, just, you know, and I know, I'm just the the OS around, and if, yeah, so many of the other I manufacturers being mean. quit being mean, Miriam. Uh, Essential doesn't mean, deserve your no, meanness. No, that's true. They don't because you know what? I still think it's one of the nicest phones I've ever held in my hands. <laughs> it's a very nice phone. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what they follow it up with. If they follow it up with something, I think they will. Maybe but they'll do. This what, is a good sign that they that they care. Maybe to they'll a, a they'll do degree. what Moto did with the Moto Z two. I mean three. Sorry. What's that? Because it's pretty much the same as. Oh. Anyway, we'll, oh. we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, real quick, some of the things to look for, which we've already kind of talked about: gesture navigation, of course. Apparently, on the upcoming Pixel three, this is going to be the only nav option. That's according to Google, I believe. Uh, so get used to the, their gesture uh, approach. Um, new overview and multitasking view. Those cards are interactive. You can split screen. You can pin. It's just a little different when you get into that multitasking screen. So you kind of, you know, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, the notification area, which I am definitely used to my notifications being very noisy up there. Um, and I know that they did it at least partially to make room for notches up top where they kind of have the stuff on the one side and the other, and then they trim things down with the little ellipses. That might actually be last pass, but it's they have a little like there, ellipses huh? up there. And it, I, I it's, gotta say, it's, it's kind of nice. I'm it's nice to, to have it not as noisy. Cut a piece of tape that looks like a notch and put it in my phone. And you wouldn't have to, yeah. That way I, I will see how much I, I end up getting in there. <laughs> how wide the notch has to be. How, how, yeah, how wide of a notch can you get away with? They probably have a limit on that. I know they have a limit on the number of notches. I can't get used to the time being in the wrong place, though. Really? I'm totally used to it. Well, because you've been on the beta forever. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. See, I'm, I'm your future right now. 
<laughs> you're looking you're looking at your future right now when the time being on the left hand side of the screen doesn't matter actually you know a lot of the phones with notches that are not um pixels like the honor phones and the yeah the p20 honor 10 p20 pro mm -hmm. have the time on the other side a lot of phones have the time on the other side now yeah well i bet you will see more of that yep. because you know as because now seen, it's pixel rules now it's now it's google anointed um what else? What are, I don't know. Uh, you've you've been on the beta for a while, Phil. What are some of your favorite uh, features that you've seen uh, in this new pie? It's it's funny how it all really starts to feel just kind of normal. Yeah. After after yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sitting here playing with it. And it's like, well, I don't know. Um, um, <laughs> the the app so actions that are when you yeah. open the when you open the drawer, so you get you know two little frequently used things will show there, so or, I can you know very. Very yes. quickly open my doorbell camera or, you know, whatever it happens to be. Um, that, that I think is a very nice one. That's really, that's, that's cool. But I interact with this far less than this down here. And mm -hmm. I've actually, I, I keep meaning to at least put a tweet out on this and I keep forgetting. So instead I'll, I'll put it on a podcast. I've been using this like crazy. I'm not a huge fan of the contextual, like, uh, we know that you're at work, so we're going to give you different icons and different places that match the things you do most while you're at work or, you know, trying to be too smart about surfacing things in a smart way that they, that an uh, OS or an app thinks I'm, I want to use at that particular moment. I just find it too confusing, but I have to say this little, this little area down here really works in that regard. It knows that when I'm waking up in the morning, like I want to, I want to, you know, I don't have the Hue app anywhere on my home screen and I would normally have to go into the app drawer to get to it. But at one point I realized in the morning, it always puts the Hue app down there. And so I'm like, oh, cool. So it's always there. It, it's obviously not there now. I'm at work. I've got different, you know, things showing down there. Um, and it's not always right, but very often I, I open that up and I'm like, well, yeah, that's the thing I was looking for. So yeah, it, as long cool. as it works well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the new, I, I think they've maybe finally have fixed volume control because that's always mm. been the one thing, right? Like you go to change the volume on music and whoa, you're changing your ringer yeah. or vice versa. And I think they finally got a good handle on that. They got a good handle on switching between vibrate and, and sound and silent and super easy. Love it. Isn't there, there's, oh yeah, so there's a shortcut, uh, power and volume up will call and notifications will vibrate, call and notifications, like how is it, how is it changing that? It just ch changes it directly to vibrate, right? Oh, that's what it does. Yeah, it's just a toggle. Like, I don't know if it's a full toggle. No, it's because, three, it's three, three settings. It's, um, no, vibrate. but it only goes to vibrate. When you do that, the only thing it's doing is setting it to vibrate. Oh, so I it see. doesn't toggle. So that's like, oh, you that's your emergency in your pocket. Oh, I'm in the middle of a meeting. I don't want to pull out my phone to, to set my phone on vibrate. Just do that instead. So which one is it? It's a power and volume up. You hold together. Down. And what happens? It's and vibrating in my hand. But if you do fly. power and volume down, you take a screenshot. So keep that in mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there is the whole screenshot um, integration as well. Uh, there we go. You get the edit button kind of integrated in and it just pops it right into a screenshot editor. That's kind of neat. But yeah, I mean, does we, it we, let you scroll down now? What do you screenshot mean? editor? Like, you know how some phones oh. let you scroll no, through an does entire not. page? Mm -mm. That yeah. is one of the nicest features that I wish I had on my Pixel as a native. Is there an actual app for that you can, like, add? There are apps for that, absolutely. Yeah, I feel like we've uh, we've had a one or two on the show in the past. Mine just you should You should really watch the show called All About Android. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, uh, screen rotation is another thing that you'll find in there, kind of a screen rotation lock smart lock that appears maybe it's not going to do it here i'm trying to remember how i get that going maybe in the play store it'll do it does it does it uh does no. it look does why it see your not, eyes is that how it does it why am i not seeing the rotation button hmm. well no often you'll get a little or thing down there. where you can yeah. lock it in so that you know i think the the often used example is you're laying down in bed and it keeps rotating on you and you want to lock it in that in that view so that even though you're holding it, you know, in a way that it would normally rotate, it locks it in. So it, it has uh, integrations into that, a bunch of uh, work around battery and adaptive brightness, adaptive battery, just uh, using AI in many different ways to analyze how you use your phone and, and make it better. Nobody does AI better than Google. That's true. So Google's really good with it. So just go for it. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you can. 
uh, which you can install it if you haven't had it pushed to your Pixel device yet. You can install it on your own. They've, they've posted all the instructions uh, and files in order to do that. But you'll probably get updated to it. You know quickly. what was weird? I have never had an update come in, like a big update like this, where it, if I went into the settings and forced a system update, like when like check for update that I would get it. It's always just popped up in my notifications eventually and mm -hmm. then I've updated. Mm -hmm. This morning I woke up, I forced and up, like checked for update and boom, it showed up. Yeah. No, that, that's a new that's thing too. They've, they've, actively, to they've actively changed that a little bit and okay. it will not troll you nearly as hard. Okay. Man, I forget when they announced that, but yeah. I was, I was uh, checking it like every hour the last couple of days cuz i cuz i was i just had a lot on my plate and i didn't want to if i didn't have to pull out the computer plug it all in and do the manual approach yeah, i just a, wanted it to do it on its, it's own it's pain right i mean and i mean at a certain point today i would have had to have done that but at some point i did the check and hey the it's ready for you so i was able to update um so that's pi and uh going forward uh pi is pi is the word 